Designing up my campuses, this city is going to take the campus that's the plus four, but then what I'm going to do is put a city center in order to pick up the campus there, but in order to build that one, I'll have to build another city over in this direction first. So it's one of those things that it kind of, you, you lead to some strange, very, very strange city patterns, but like that probably wouldn't be the worst thing in the world and then I can just start settling down. I'm tempted to go and settle up here to stop Carthage from settling up towards me as well. There is also iron on the border but it's all desert. It's all desert and I'm not entirely sure any of it's any good. One more governor. I yeah I'm gonna get Magnus involved. Let's do it. Beautiful. We're building government plaza in this city. That'll give this city provision. I'm hoping to open up monumentality next era although I'll, I'll be able to get the golden age card for it because it is heroic ages after all. Please stop leading settlers to me. I, I, I am really tempted to just attack any settler that, you know, ends up being in front of me because I'm desperate. Oh, where do I settle this first city? Oh, it's really difficult to know. Thing is, and this is sort of what I'm, I'm second guessing myself now with. If I settle a city there, I can't build a Suez city. And I kind of really, really, really want a Suez city because why wouldn't I? It ruins all the plans I have in this area, utterly. But um, <laughs> it's too good. It's too good. Oh, which means, I mean, my industrial zones are not going to be anywhere near as good as I'd hoped them to be. But I guess that sort of solves the question there. There is a river somewhere here. It's not showing up, but there is a river there. You know, I'm going to go and settle sewers. Hopefully that'll keep sort of defensive cushion between me and everybody else. Where, who is sending this religion over to me? This is Islam. Warrior monks. Oh, why don't you have feed the world? Come on. I need, I need yields. Any yields are good. There's apprenticeship. I really want to know where apprenticeship is. All the way up there. Ugh, wrong side of the tech tree for me. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll head up that way in a second. I think we can do something with that. Oh, that's better. Oh, Phoenicia. Yes, they, they are the best for all of these luxury deals. And I'll just buy another luxury from them. It means actually I could see if anyone wants to buy something. Oh, Georgia. Yes. I like this deal. I'm about to sell away something. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I could take from you in addition to what you're offering. Yeah, they'll give me four Diplo favor. Fine. I don't mind being unhappy. Unhappy's fine. I'd rather be rich. It's probably a horrible moral there. <laughs> a warning story, but never mind. I'm gonna buy a watermill in this city. Now this will give me, I believe, 12 production? Uh, sorry, 12 culture? Less than a turn's worth. But hey, it's these little boosts that do really, really nicely. And now I've actually got a really solid tile down south. Let's just work that. Give myself a bit of population. Get this city growing. I need population. I need better cities. That's a lot of barbarian scouts. What are you doing? It's really weird, this. Why is it not showing me where the rivers are? Very strange. Uh, Phoenicia actually likes the fact... I know I'm settling towards them, but I'm actually settling away from the coast. So that's good. Don't, don't worry about why I'm settling that. That's nothing to do with you. Get the walls up first, I think. Not a bad option for me. And you know what? I'm just going to move in this towel. So work that jade. It wasn't being worked by anybody else. And actually, it just gives me a little bit of culture in the city. A little bit more food. Perfect. Here is a golden age, though. It's a golden age. Amazing. Everyone else is in a dark age. So everybody loses 10% of their cities apart from me. Um, that is this city. That's a free city now. And you can see, look at that, three cities will absolutely decimate loyalty in surrounding areas. Hello, Medina. Oh, that is not where I would have put a city, but that is what I call free real estate. Let's just move my chariot arches down and go and investigate. I think this could be a very fortuitous thing for me indeed. My Jira score have I got to get this time around 26, I think. Might be quite tough. Might be quite tough indeed. But if anybody can do it, we can. We're going to see if we can just sort of consolidate. Anybody getting industrial zone points? No, no. Nobody's getting engineer points. I think, yeah, harbors. Harbors are one thing, but I think engineers and merchants, both of these are, are, are ripe for the grabbing. Eastern Orthodoxy is choral music. Oh, such angelic bears singing in the early morning. The choir of the early bears. <laughs> it's absolutely horrific if you listen to it without earplugs. Speaking of... City centers, let's get those going, and no profit points. Yeah, the AI always goes for no profit points. I don't know what it is about that option. It's just the chaos of it. And yep, yeah, there we go. 100% production towards city center buildings as well. Now, normally I would jump on Classical Republic very quickly, but I don't have any cities with districts in them, although I will very soon, actually, because this district's about to be finished and this city's about to be finished. Hmm, 
The other option there is to go for autocracy, wonder production, extra yields in cities. I was going to build mausoleum. Yeah, I think we're, we're doing this slightly differently right now. Oh, look at these golden age. Oh, yep. There's a lot of golden age things that we can do. Oh, I didn't get to use any of the dark ages because I didn't know what governments were, but that's fine. Let's stick Corvée in. I'm going to use that hopefully very soon. Oh, no, I was going to change government, wasn't I? Autocracy. Then I'll do that. Now, now I can use the golden age cards. So we have monumentality, which lets me get quicker builders and settlers, and I can purchase units with faith. I do have a little bit of faith. Exodus of Evangelists helps me to get a religion, but that's not going to be very helpful. For inquiry would turn my my harbour adjacency, which is plus two, when that's finished, into two science. Not a huge thing. Four culture for every wonder. Mm, wish that was a good thing. Praetorian Guard is amazing. That is really, really good. I don't have any encampments yet, but we'll keep an eye on that one. Corvée Conscription. Let's get Diplomatic League. And I think Urban Planning is probably the best one for me right now, just to boost production even further across my empire. Magnus, can you give yourself provision? I need to be able to get those settlers out very soon. However, we need to then get the right to them. Let's jump on Ancestral Hall. We need to settle all the way down the Nile as quickly as we can. Well, there's the letter. That would have been good to meet a little while ago, but there we go. We've got uh, two envoys there now. And what do they want as a quest? An inspiration for drama and poetry. That is to build a wonder. I'll do my best, but um, I get the feeling this is not a game that is going to let me build a lot of wonders. Oh, Medena is going to rebel in seven turns. My army is on the way, but I don't even know if my warrior is going to get there in seven turns, which would be rather... No, it's going to be rather unfortunate. Ah, oh, man. I do have a scout, but I don't think my scout is strong enough. Hang on, just cross the river. We're going to give it a good go. I think ultimately, what can you do other than just give it a go? My army is, is going to see if we can liberate the city. I say liberate. Liberate to my empire. Does that count? Probably counts, right? Lighthouse, bit more housing, more food in my capital. Yeah, these are the things that I want to see. And mausoleum says 26 turns. Hoping that would be a bit quicker because that's on the coast. And I've, sorry, it's on a river. And I've also got the production bonus. And I've got my pantheon. Oh, no, nah, never mind. Anyway, the letter. Show me the map. Oh, come on. Where are your boats? Why is your boat here and not everywhere else? I guess we have just found Rome. That is somebody we found. There you go. Hello, Rome. Oh, yeah. Actually, I do need those luxuries. Thank you. Make me happy again. Oh, Medina has a swordsman. That's no fun. Um, We probably should deal with that as quickly as we can. Get these chariot archers across. You heal yourself, scout. Four turns. I don't know if we're going to have time to three that city. Oh, it was almost worth it. I mean, if I could have got that, that would have been brilliant. Alas, it looks like it is not to be. Don't worry, Ancestral Hall is going to change this game. We'll pick up Monumentality. I'm going to start spamming out units and, and settlers. We're going to go and colonize as much of the Nile, or the good bit of the Nile, as we can. I have absolutely not um, factored out domination or combat at all. Like, if, if, if that's something that could be done, I'm going to do it. Like, I, I fancy just expanding this Egyptian empire into something nice and big. Rebellion in two turns. Oh, the chances of me taking this are so slim. Oh, it's so unfortunate. We're just, just there and everything. You know, sometimes you play a game and actually you start to envision what this game would be like winning it. And I'm thinking, the start was so... <laughs> kidding me the mausoleum just got taken from me oh my lord like this is one of those games where absolutely everything that could go wrong is going wrong and i love that because the satisfaction we're gonna gain from winning this game is going to be absolutely huge I, I, I am I am telling you now, it's going to be wonderful. Monumentality, you know what, no, Corvée, I'm just, why do I even bother with wonders? It's not a, it's not a thing, is it? Let's just assume we're never going to get a wonder ever again. Conscription, monumentality, urban planning, all of that stuff looks great. I have a bit of spare production. Oh, I could go for another wonder. <laughs> what do you reckon? Is that going to go well or not well? Ugh. Oh. Probably not well. What? What? what uh, have we got any decent gold routes? No, we have no decent trade routes at all. I'll have to just get a regular route. Let's get that trader because that'll unlock commercial hubs. That'll be perfect. This ancestral hall is looking lovely. I think I'm going to get myself a builder or two. Let's get one in this city. Let's get one in this city. And then next turn, I can start using my gold to print settlers out. 
Oh no, Madonna has even thrown a swordsman at me just to stop me getting anywhere near it. Even if I thought, even if I thought I'd been able to, to actually do that. Nope, it's uh, it's not going to let me. I think settling a city over here, getting these two fish and then spamming galleys into the sea, I could probably go to war with Arabia and take these cities forcibly. They're probably going to have a very big land army, but I reckon I could take all of these island cities into the south, block off the, uh, the Nile and this sort of peninsula. I could probably get Dido in a joint war with them as well, because they probably don't like them, yeah. They'd actually give me tons of money to do that. I, I tend not to take gold for joint war deals. I still don't think the game is particularly balanced. It's a bit exploitable, but it's good to see it as an option. Medina, here you go. Go on, just flip, just flip. Put me out of my misery. I'm, I'm done with you. I, I ferried an army across the entire known world to come and see you, but nope, not going to happen. Fine, we'll sod off. Don't mind us. Well, it's a tiny trade route, but it is a technical trade route. Gets me currency, means that my capital can grow a little bit faster, and I could commercial hub right next to the harbor. I mean, that again would be a totally pointless move. Get a campus going? That would be at least something. I'm three turns away from an entertainment complex. Actually, you know what? Let's get the watermill, granary, ancient walls. There is technically a whole world congress in my favor at the moment. Um, and you know what? I'm actually gonna make some friends. Now, Dido, if I were to go to war with Dido, boats would appear on my coast. I want Arabian lands first, so I think I am going to make friends with Dido at the moment. It just protects my northern flank, gives me a little bit of security so I don't have to worry about being attacked from that flank, and then we can, as I say, look to go and settle on this area, pump some galleys into the sea. I think that would be a good move. And there's the Settler. The good thing about the Monumentality card on Dramatic Ages is that the Settlers gain two movement, where well, they don't normally. So you'll see me just sort of scuttle across the map. Scuttle, of course, being a very good term. I think Arabia heard my plans for this area and they're putting walls up really quickly. So something just to consider. I probably should make sure I've got at least one battering ram in the area. Although, to be honest, I've got units with a decent amount of power. See, a lot of cities that I've got at the moment are putting walls up, and walls are good because I've got double speed on the World Congress and I can put limes in to make it even quicker. But if I do that, then I keep getting the 15% culture boost every time I put the walls up. It's a big difference. Like, I'm, I'm happy with that. So there's games and recreation. That would give me the ability to put the Colosseum down, maybe. There is a government over there. Yeah, let's go Divine Right. Like, if we can get a go nice government going, maybe we can get some spies. Spies might help with some early game war, to be fair. That's not a bad idea, actually. I know I haven't put a Sphinx down yet, but as I say, era score in Dramatic Ages is so important. I'm kind of holding off on a Sphinx just in case I need a burst of four era score to get me through something. I, like, I don't know. At this point, I could need it at any point. Selling some Diplo favor means I get another Sattler out. So I've got one that's just about to park itself there, although I'm going to wait two turns for the Ancestral Hall to finish. This Sattler, I think the best place to pop them is down on this Jade, so I can start getting some campuses going. There are a lot of campuses that we're going to need a lot. Um, ship building, I'm going to leave that one there. Let's go for pastures. Have I really not got any pastures? Where, do we not have a single thing that could get pastured? Probably not. She has a bunch of horses down there, so maybe that's where I should go? Yeah, you know what, let's go get some horses. I think at this point, I'm so far behind that Eureka's inspirations, anything that can get me through the tree quicker, just stops me from falling behind too much. I'm not scared of expansion, Caesar, okay? I'm just bad at the game. <laughs> I'm just being attacked by barbarians and I'm sulking about it. Here we go, big burst of culture as my beautiful ancestral hall is finished. Lovely. Okay, cool. As I scoop my settler through and I treat myself just to a nice, beautiful five food tile in this city. This is the city that I just, I need to get this encampment sorted quickly and I need to start printing settlers from it if I can. For monumentality, you know, a holy site wouldn't be the worst idea because it would get me a lot more faith I could print settlers with it. But don't forget as well, I have adopted a religion and it would give me culture for shrines and temples. Now that would be quite a nice little boost. I'm just wondering if a holy site would be worth popping in my capital but I don't know if it is it probably would be a little bit of overkill I mean a, a plus five commercial hub I'm still really tempted by that um so do I do that Ugh. 
it, it forms a nice triangle, doesn't it? It makes my harbor a little bit better as well. It means I could go three inquiry later. Yeah, I've decided I'm gonna do that. Um, Magnus, I could give myself surplus logistics. Now the benefit of that is I do have a trade route going there already. That would make it a four food route and it would improve my capital, which I need to do thinking about it because it's the only thing giving me science and culture pretty much. Yeah, it's actually generating about 75% of my culture and science in my entire empire right now. So let's just keep that going. Um, beautiful. This city actually should grow really nicely. However, um, galleys would be cool. I'm just thinking actually limes. No, let's just get the walls up quickly. I'll switch to monarchy and then I'll get a load of galleys. And we're going to use this as a staging point to take a lot of cities on the coast if we can. Well, let's get my first boat. This would be a beautiful galley. Ah, two era score. It gives me at least a 30 strength unit to attack Medena with. And I'm thinking this might be a good chance actually to get the joint wall going because Dido would attack first and it would distract a lot of their troops to the north. I think this could be rather clever. Oh, yes, yes. Ursa Ryan, absolute war guru. Let's see who else we can get involved. So Gilgamesh and Georgia possibly. Georgia hates me. Gilgamesh doesn't want to go to war. Gilga bro. Come on. Okay, fine. Never mind. So definitely Medina is a target for me. Um, but don't forget the Dark Age is what I'm really going for here with Arabia. They don't have enough loyalty to hold on to a lot of their cities. So if I start converting, I might be able to hit in a little bit more. There's no way I'll be taking Baghdad. But there's this city on the coast. Um, Demetia, Tripoli as well. Th these are these are possibilities for me to go and conquer. The only thing that I'm a little unsure of is the size of navy that Arabia is going to deploy on me. Maybe more than I'd be willing to fight, but um, we'll we'll just sort of keep an eye on this. Oh look, there is a horseman about to arrive. Good thing I spotted that nice and early. Wonderful. Oh damn, I was gonna stop horseback riding from finishing that because there it is. But never mind. Uh, we've got some horses coming in. That is at least something I can sell, if nothing more. Tell you what, the World Congress is very handy because this city center boost is meaning that I can get all of the infrastructure in my cities, and each time I build something, it gives me a little burst of culture. 15%, so really handy. Uh, apprenticeship, come on, let's do this, let's do this. Anyone getting? Oh, there are some uh, engineers going down now, which is a little bit annoying, but never mind. Yeah, interesting. So the presence of my galley was actually enough to throw all of Arabia's units off me, which is really handy. Often you can do that. Now I'm going to buy a second galley. That'll give me ship building from the fort. Let's just finish that off now. But two galleys is enough to really start putting the squeeze on this city. And now I've got one, two, three, four attacks every turn with a galley. I'm not going to give it time to rest. We're just going to have a quick look. I'm using a builder with one charge. Not exactly important to me. Just to scout around, see where the reinforcements are coming from. I'll buy that tile just for a little bit more horsey horsey. Um, but this is an important thing for me. This is how I get back into the game. I'm on five cities at the moment. Ten for Arabia. Seven, five, eight, seven, seven. So this goes from being five cities to ten uh, to six cities to nine. That is a big swing. And I really, really want that as quickly as we can. Now expect walls to appear at any point. If they appear, it doesn't matter. That's why we brought so many troops. I have a second galley. Time will give me this city. I've got some good population growth behind it as well. This city will get to at least four population pretty comfortably. This one hopefully five or six. So loyalty won't be a problem. And especially just thinking about it because I can build walls really easy. Monarchy. Turns out to be a really handy thing. So I've still got monumentality. I'm not entirely sure that's the best thing to have at the moment, but autocratic legacy is a really good one. We'll go for building boats, I think, for a bit. Is that a good one to do? Am I going to build boats? Realistically? Probably not. I'll put conscription in to give myself a little bit more gold instead. Praetorian Guard. 10 health healing every turn. It's really, really handy, that. Oh, I attacked with the scout totally by accident. Never mind, that scout was actually just to stop people from landing and attacking me. It's sort of like a roadblock scout. So I can actually get to four cities. This could be quite the little conquest. Arabia versus Egypt. Oh, oh. battle of the old empires like this. It's, it, it's, it's feeling rather cool. I am just expecting walls to get thrown up, but I mean, the city's on so low health at the moment. I'm hoping it won't matter either way, but I'm, I'm just not surprised if that does throw me. No, no, it's healing and it didn't do it. They didn't get the walls up in time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I have to say, like I'm fighting for this city, but there, there should be the, the acknowledgement that this city is terrible. 
right? It's really not a good city, but um, I'll take it anyway, and it's loyal. That's the most important thing. I am putting more pressure on it than Arabia, and that is wonderful. Now, a good thing about Tripoli is that I can actually stand units on the coast and attack the walls, which is pretty handy, and you can see that my chariots do a decent da chunk of damage to walls. The most important thing for me to do, though, actually, is, yeah, to build some boats. Now that I think about it, that could be the easiest thing to do. Quadrims. 25 range strength can be boosted up to 42. Get a couple of those going and yeah, we can start knocking some walls down quickly. Unless there's an Admiral. Oh, we're onto the Ironclad Admiral already. Okay, sure we are, fine. <laughs> there's some people going crazy with harbors on this game. So I'm finally building a little bit of infrastructure now. We've got monuments, a plenty. We've got water mills. We've got granaries. Come down and get it. It's all good, but I'm going to need a serious army to take these cities on because I reckon if the Golden Age splits away, uh, the Dark Age benefits that I'm getting, they kind of fall away so Arabia gets some loyalty pressure. I'm going to need to take one, two, three cities in order to keep this loyal at the minimum. Baghdad just lost a load of walls because a volcano went off and it does make me think... I know, right? I know. Careful. Careful about thinking. <laughs> I think a soothsayer might not be the worst thing in the world here. If I got a hundred thieves together, got a soothsayer, I reckon I could probably use a volcano or two, providing there's things around to take. I mean, it's, it, you know, this is a possibility. I've never actually used a soothsayer offensively before. Maybe this is the day. Maybe this is the day. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, I've just locked in my golden age for medieval era. That was a nice, easy era. They're going to become harder and harder to hard to get every time we get a adjacent or subsequent or consecutive, whatever the word is. The golden ages get harder. Plus, every city I have, they get harder as well. So at some point, it's going to go all horribly wrong and it'll come crashing down on us. But until that point, we'll smile and wave. Oh, the barbarians have crossbows, everybody. The barbarians have crossbows. These are the things you love to see on a day-to-day -day basis. Oh, all right. I guess everyone pulled back. We don't want to take these ones on. And Arabia cities have just gone to 40-something strength now. That means my galleon quadroom attack is... I mean, it's not going to work anymore. Hello, Persia. Nice. Can, do you want to join in with my war? I bet you do. No, they don't. That's a shame, but never mind. Um, Yeah, I, I wonder if this war can really be taken much further because, I, I mean, I stole a one population city and that's about it. Unless I unless I tech up a lot, I'm not going to really get anywhere. But look, I've now got three cities in range of campuses of at least plus four per turn. I'm building another one. We can tech up, I think, by turn 150, I reckon we can get to 100 science per turn. It'll be 50 turns behind what we wanted, but that's kind of the barbarian penalty that we paid this game. You pay your your dues and sometimes it's the barbarian tax that you need to pay but it's okay it's fine well there's yara then that would have been good to unlock the governments a little earlier in the game but never mind uh we're still selling and buying elephants the luxuries are all going good the cyrus want horses you know what? I think they do. Look at that. Yeah, as I say, we're trying to sell everything. Oh, I just lost a bunch of gold per turn. I think that was a luxury deals that just stopped. Can I renew them? I can. Yeah, I'm going to have to. Oh, I lose ecstatic in my cities, but I need the gold per turn. I really, really do. 10 population capital with Pingala in. I've unlocked Nitre. Please tell me I have tons of Nitre because I didn't have anything else in my lands. I have a little bit of Nitre. That's not the result I was really looking for. Oh, this is frustrating. This is frustrating because there is a beautiful chance to steal a Sattler here. And I don't think my galleys are going to be tough enough to do it, which is a bit of a shame. We're going to give it a go, go though. If I can at least do some damage, here we go. I, I don't know where that horseman is going to go, but if I can steal that Sattler, man, that would be a good result for me. Okay, it looks like they've just popped themselves down on an island. Why... If you settle that, I'm not going to be happy. <laughs> I mean, I guess I will be able to get a little bit more loyalty when I steal the city, but I won't be happy. So can, can, we, can we not? It does occur to me that far too many of my requests to the AI just start with, can we not? Please, can we, can we not do that? That sounds awful. I reckon they'll settle, which means we'll have the city under siege immediately because our uh, galleys are kind of parked either side of it. There'll be a horseman making it incredibly strong. No, 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 no peace for you. Not going to happen. Honor to meet you, Macedon. It's great. But now I can go one, 
to steal the Sattler. Now you can have peace. Now you can have peace, friend. Interestingly, they would have given me Tripoli and the peace deal if I give them all the money. But um, I don't want to give them all the money. I just want to take some gold from them. 170 they'll give me. There's always the opportunity to go to war with them again. So it's always worth taking the gold up front. Especially if you don't trust yourself. Okay, Praetorian Guard out with you not important anymore free inquiry though that's another eat science per turn because my commercial hub is now finished monumentality i'm gonna pop that in as well diplomatic league isn't really giving me a huge amount but it did give me the letter so i've got to be grateful for everything that it does give me maritime industries is fine but equestrian orders will get me more to sell so let's do that oh the giddy heights 41 41 science per turn oh blimey how much is a settler these days 800 gold that's only my entire gold it's fine. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's I'm sure it's okay. World Congress. People normally ban yeah, they vote to ban luxuries. And normally it's the one that most people have. So I'm gonna vote on salt. Trade routes for city states. Let's go for scientific. Because I think a lot of people will be around like Geneva and Hattusa and Bologna. Yep, there you go. No amber though. Could we have guessed no amber? Oh I had amber. Yeah, probably then. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. The only problem now is that my cities are no longer building all of these buildings super quickly, so I need to probably just watch what they're building. I'm still fixing a monument. I'll fix the water mill. That's all pretty good, but yeah, otherwise this is all fun. This barb encampment is causing me grief at the moment because it's stopping my settler from really going into a lot of places that I want to send them, but no matter. Just continue manually moving them around, and there is another city of... Edfu, lovely stuff. In fact, actually, I can make a nice feudalism triangle of farms once I, you know, research what feudalism is, but I'll, I'll get it eventually. Oh, men at arms and crossbows. Ugh, no, these barbs, these barbs are tough. Retreat, retreat. Don't like this. This is not good. And yet, not another city. Yeah, Dido likes this one. Of course you do. Yeah. Slowly settling out this space. Slowly. It, it is, it's going to take some time given the absolute tiny speed that we can get anything out, but, but it's all good. Finally, apprenticeship. Oh yeah, that's going to be good. Industrial zones. I, I, I have a very sweet industrial base that I can still put up in this area. I'm really looking forward to doing that. This war with Arabia may not have given me the fruits that I was looking for, but we still have a lot of capacity to grow here. A huge amount. And I'm, I'm pretty confident we'll be able to do some really cool things. Looking forward to seeing who stays in a golden age and who goes into a dark age and working out whether we can take advantage of that. Like watching Phoenicia, for instance, lose Jerusalem would be quite entertaining. Appease the gods. Again. Okay, well, we've got no volcanoes around me again, which which is a bit of a problem. I could go and find one, I guess. Ah, oh, the city-state emergency is finally beginning to go through. Maybe I'll join in with that. I could give me some really, really good shared visibility. I mean, I don't know if you can actually declare on a friend like that. Probably can't. So it's probably a bit of a false false idea of something I could or couldn't do, but but no worries. It's, it's fine. Either way, we'll we'll have a lot of fun watching Phoenicia get killed or or surviving or, you know, which, whichever way. It's fine. Nah, we couldn't vote on it. We, it went through without anyone getting involved in, in my sort of area. Oh, someone did vote for it. Who did? Arabia. Oh, that would have been entertaining. We would have been on side of Arabia all of a sudden. I just used a builder to trap another crossbow there. Oh, the barbarians, they look so scary until you get back into your own lands and suddenly, suddenly they're not so bad really, are they? Now, urban planning is all very well and good, but I'm just going to pop in natural philosophy, which is currently giving me zero. But there we go. This campus will be finished in two turns, and that is worth a giddy eight science when it's finished. 43 to 51. That is a decent boost of science, and I'm hoping that'll help to take us off the bottom of the game. Oh, no. Renaissance era let's see what happens dark ages for phoenicia and arabia around me in fact it's only roman ottomans that have gone gold interesting very interesting so we can no longer oh get the extra science from our harbors that was a really good one never mind monumentality is still useful limes is not really doing anything for me at the moment conscription equestrian orders is also not doing anything for me uh craftsmanship will be very handy in a bit okay Oh, put limes back in. I feel like I've just taken that out, but never mind. Gothic architecture. Yeah, because what I can now do is in this city, my capital, I will get the arena built. 
and I can buy that tile and in a second go Colosseum, get it done. When that's done, industrial zone, get that finished. I'm going to do it in that order because it actually gives this city time to get the aqueduct sorted over there. It feels a little bit inefficient, but it's not inefficient. It's just gloriously convoluted. Well, one way to attack Arabia would be to go at them with caravels. That's not a bad idea. A little bit more powerful. They've probably got medieval walls by now. No, only ancient walls, but I've got two galleys already. That wouldn't be too bad an upgrade, really. I'm going to finish a harbour in a second as well in five turns. Yeah, let's do that. I'm, I'm going to go back for them. And civil service, look at this, a new alliance. If I can get an alliance going against them, that would be rather fun. Now, it looks like Arabia lost this city, which is a bit annoying. Which city did Phoenicia lose? Can't see it. Whatever it is, I can't see it. Never mind. Pingala's getting grants. I'm actually getting a lot of great people from that city now, and I think it makes sense just to keep it going in that direction. You know, as I review my empire, the fun thing about this is because I'm a little bit behind, and I don't really see a way to jump back into this in a crazy fast fashion, means this is going to be like a turn 275, turn 300 sort of game. I'm really excited about that. I haven't played a really long game in a while. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm just really good at the game. <laughs> yeah, and uh, listen to that modesty, eh? It's, it's just intoxicating. You know, deity isn't a difficult enough setting. There should be a ninth level of difficulty just named Ursa. <laughs> yes. Who wants to be an ally? No one. They've all expired their friendship the same turn. <laughs> oh. Am I going to attack Carthage? I, as long as Arabia is here, I have better targets, you know? Like, I know I could get to Jerusalem and liberate it, but honestly, Carthage have the sea, and I could go in this direction if I wanted to, or this direction. It's Arabia that are causing me the problems right now, and Dido's the only one who is willing to fight them. So a military alliance. Yes, I know, with you, Dido. There will be no white flag here today. No one else knows what an alliance is. Wow, Dido, doing good. Doing the good. Now I'm, I'm gonna have a look at other people as we go along. Apart from Arabia, who are my sworn enemies, I'm gonna be working on the friendships of everybody else. I wanna get everyone else into a positive relation if I can. Like, look at this. Minus four, and that res respects enemies of a lot of land. We're gonna keep settling, so that should be fine. Uh, yeah, and George is gonna come on side. Lack of a failure to declare a surprise. Well, I've just stolen the city already, Cyrus. Come on. Oh, mercantilism. Ah, privateers. I was wondering what I could send after Arabia, filling this sea with privateers. Now that, that is an Ursa strategy that I can get on board with. Yummy. Also, check this out. I'm just communisting this. I've got enough trade gold, so five food, two production routes to this city. It's really helping my, like, little cities to grow. I like it. It's good. Oh, look, I have a book now as well. I traded it. The Arse of War, filled with such wisdom as, if you have no troop, you lose battle. Ah, yes, Sun Tzu. Always there with the advice. One of the problems about a game like this, though, apart from the fact that I know it's going to go on for quite some time, is that I'm sitting here just watching wonders get built that I haven't even researched yet. Like, what is that wonder? Is, is it a good wonder? I don't know. Who knows, really? Who knows, really? Just sitting here, gathering a bit of gold. It's good. Making sure that my settler production city is beginning to take shape a little bit. I need an industrial zone. I need an encampment. I need a diplomatic quarter. There's a lot of stuff I need. Ugh, Petra's been built as well. I totally forgot to even check before I went for it. Spy? Spy? Oh, Georgia! Arr, they just took out Pingala. And that's like, literally. Oh, that's going to cripple my science and culture per turn. Just watch this. Oh, it did. I went from about 1445 to 1332. Oh, I don't even know what spies are yet. How could you do this, Georgia? Oh, uh, you know what? I could, I could go and diplomatically tell her to uh, get stuffed, but I don't have the favor or the inclination to. But I did capture their spy. Interesting. Interesting. Now, unfortunately, executions, public executions, are, uh, it's not on. But maybe, I mean, how much will you give me for this buy? Oh, Karen. Karen isn't worth a lot, everybody. Can't believe I'm doing this, but I'm actually going to give Karen back. Pingal is dead now. So, I mean, nothing else is going to really happen. But that gold is really, really handy. I need it because uh, I could now get another settler. And I feel like 
I'm doing okay in terms of keeping up with everybody. Eight cities, 38 population. Like at the moment, I've just taken over Arabia. I'm on par with Dido, Gilgamesh. I'm kind of over the top. <laughs> I'm going to be careful how I say that. <laughs> Rome, I'm sort of even with. Yeah, I'm, I'm very much like in the middle of the pack, but I feel like if I don't keep settling, I'm going to regret it. So let's get one more settler. Um, and then once we've got the campus being built in this city, then I can settle that one. But up until that, I think, is it worth going for the knights over here and putting a city in range of a Colosseum? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm going to go and settle over there. It feels a bit weird, but it gives me just a little bit more med access, a couple more sea towers and some nitre. Can I just say, I am waiting for the Colosseum to be built. Like, it's not even something that I'm, I'm not even joking about it, because quite frankly, it is inevitable. It is totally inevitable. I'm just actually now thinking, where do I want to put my industrial zone? I think I've got a choice between this spot and that spot. Hadn't thought that through. I could put a theatre square next to the Colosseum, to be fair. That's probably not a bad move. So, yeah. Oh, but then I, I could put the theatre square there and then water park this area. Let's, let's pin it. Put a pin in it, Tursa. I can't put Ruhr in either location, so you know what? That'll do. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Actually, did you see that? It said 10 turns, but now it's 8. That's the whopping 15% production. Can I just say, with Egypt, especially when you compare it to an ability like Hungary, for instance, which gives you 50% production as long as the district is a over the river, but it also works on all the buildings as well as the districts. And it's 50, not 15. Oh, if this was buffed, if, if that was like 30%, then I think I'd be like... Oh yeah, like especially because Nubia gets 20% on everything. It's like, there's a lot of mismatch here, I think. For later into the game, this is the sort of thing I need to keep an eye on. Greece is currently inherited by quite a few three cities. So that's either right for liberation, if I want to be good guy, or I can go take it over and just pretend it was always mine, if I want to be bad guy. I like Dramatic Ages. It, it definitely puts more options into the game than just sort of your standard, uh, like, shall I do this or till I, I don't know, it, it's something nice about it. I like it. Now, you may be asking yourself, why is Ursa still leaving this builder out to sea? Why has he not gone and got it? Well, is he leaving himself a message? Some sort of, like, remembrance of the fact of the past failure? Some sort of warning sign? No, it's because there's giant crabs here. I'm not going anywhere near that. Goodness me, that that settler is, is my builder, sorry, that's owned by the crabs. I'm not going I'm not gonna touch that one. Memphis and Nitra. Nitra. If if anything, I'll be able to sell it. Cartography! There we go. We've got caravels. How much for an upgrade? Oh, I need 720 for both of them. So much gold. I do not have enough gold coming in. But can I sell my nitre? Does this sell for a lot? Yes, about 15 apiece. Nice. Okay, I'll save a bit up, but I can go to market with that. We keep failing to appease the gods. Arabia does, though, which is wonderful, because it means they're sacrificing all of their army to a volcano whilst I prepare to invade them a five millionth time. So, yeah, I'll take that. That's not bad. Okay, 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 okay. Rome has decided they like me now, as has Georgia. Okay, can I send you delegate? Oh, come on. I need to get both of these people on side. So, Georgia, I'm going to send open borders to. Rome, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. I think that should give me a nice friendship boost to both. We've got nine and seven. Good. Macedon's not going to be happy until I go to war with somebody. Cyrus, I reckon I can probably bring over as well. Give you the gift of open borders and some money. Some money, Cyrus. Oh, that's not quite enough, but I might get to neutral with them on that one. Actually, I can give them some diplo favor as well. There you go. If I can make friends with everyone on the map apart from Arabia, we can get a good old fashioned gang war going on. Just everybody on one person. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, right. Cyrus hasn't flipped yet, but they will. They will. This is a good use of my money, by the way. I do not... Oh, no, no. I, I, want, I want everyone to be my friends. I do not want to worry about emergencies in any way. Okay, delegation accepted with Georgia and with Rome this time. Oh, this might work. This may well work, you know. Oh, that's the campus popped down. Now, the reason I've been waiting to put the city down that is because as soon as the city center is down, I wouldn't have been able to flip this tile to this city. So that's kind of like a strange way I've built that one. But now I can put a settler onto that tile. Excellent stuff. Oh, thankfully, this barb camp is now gone. I don't think I get any era score from it anymore, which is a shame. But just having that destroyed is a massive, massive safety net to my southern empire. 
Well, I'm going to consider this as a bit of a success. Not only can I get friendship with both Georgia and not quite Rome. R Rome is, is going to take a bit of time. Hang on, what's going on here? Oh, look, I can, I can, Rome can be bribed. Perfect. Even Persia is now flipping on side as well, which is just delightful. Oh, Georgia really wants a religious alliance. The thing I was really excited about was now, look at this, Nitre, Georgia, really really wants the nitre so suddenly we have really good trade partners anyone want horses because now i've got some more friends hey, georgia wants the horses as well yeah you see look this is why having friends is such a good thing any luxuries on the market <laughs> yes oh rome that's what i want to see i'll give you one jade back for the price of all of those four sure i that works Gilgamesh is going to take a research alliance. It's good. People are actually figuring out what alliances are now, which is lovely. And there's an alliance there. Good. We've got a lot more diplomacy fever coming in. It'd be beautiful to see. There's mercantilism. That is a privateer. I like privateers. Privateers are privatilicious, which of course, as you all know, is a term. I'm going to get rid of limes because I have now very, very, very close yields available now to craftsmen. I'll show you that in a second. And drill manuals. Yes, more nitre. Sell it. Sell it all. If it doesn't get pinned down, it must be sold. Um, no, no, I don't like a musket barbarian. Absolutely not. Zero out of ten. Get lost. That's what I say to that, especially with a 25 strength city. Ooh, okay, I'm just going to upgrade one of my caravels sheepishly. There we go, 45. That's much better. Still haven't got feudalism. How do I get feudalism? It's going to be in here somewhere, isn't it? Let's go and look for that. Oh my goodness, I actually built a wonder. It's a miracle. It's a Christmas miracle. I actually did a single wonder. Oh my lord. I, the fact that I even got that is just nonsense. Anyway, two culture, loyalty, and amenities to every city center within six tiles of the Colosseum, which at the moment I think is five cities. One, two, three, four, five. It could be a couple more if I were to go and settle into the desert a little bit, but I mean, right now I will take this as a win. Uh oh, that's a dust storm. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, it's going west. Uh, maybe we're okay. Maybe we're okay. Ah, oh, yes. The casual Mamluk just sort of waiting on my borders. Arabia. I mean, if they attacked me, l let me just make this perfectly clear. I would absolutely deserve it. <laughs> but, uh, you know, don't just lurk there. Okay, we're, we're just selling luxuries again. Apparently I'm happy again, which is wonderful. Still selling everything that can't get or isn't pinned to the floor. We're just, again, it goes, it goes. Sell it all, yes. So let's get the Settler card back in because what I'm going to do now, oh, Retainers is actually quite a useful card, but I'm still selling everything and I've got Craftsman going. So we'll keep that for now. But Reckon Debt, I'm going to use my money to get the workshop in this city. That's 34, beautiful production now. And now I can go, <gasps> a bum, 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 bum. Now we're gonna work on making the population of this city to grow a little bit. It's 10 population. I can get the diplomatic quarter. Diplomatic quarter gives me access to all of the benefits of the letter again. Then I can get an encampment. That also increases all of my settler build uh, production. Remember, when the letter says three production in every city with a military academy or chancery when producing units, it's not just military units, it's also civilian units. People tend to forget that bit. There is feudalism, the cheeky little thing. I'm gonna get Raina, I think. I like the idea of having Raina in a high population trade city and a high population trade city is gonna be this one because that's going to be my canal sewers city. Huzzah! That is a beautiful harbour. Lovely. Three Iriscor. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All of the Iriscor. We like it. Let's get that lighthouse in. Oh, this city's going to actually have housing now. Whack that campus down. We're actually getting quite a bit of extra science. We just finished the campus down in this city with a library going in my settler city. Like there's a lot of little, little improvements that are starting to pick back up. I said I wanted to get to 100 science by turn 150. Ah, uh, my recovery's not quite there. Turn 145 at the moment, we're at 46 science. It's not, it's not the end of the game. I, I, I can claw it back and I might still get there, but maybe, maybe not as well. I don't think I actually mentioned it at the time. I might have mentioned it. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. I don't know. But anyway, Colosseum got me like 50 culture or so as a 
burst, which is nice. It's just an extra turn's worth, and I'm getting every single time I build a get a building, like a library is a great example, a lighthouse, I just keep getting that boost, and it's wonderful. Last time, that was scientific that went through. I'm going to hazard that's going to go through again, and you might as well vote for yourself on the old trade route thing. You never know. Actually, that, that looks like that went through. Yay! Two diplomacy points. We are now on five. To that, I say, yummy! And finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Sean Gratis, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalex, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amiri C, Rom88, Radio Torre, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman. Thank you all for your support. It's amazing. See you all next time. Goodbye.